Promoted by Bill's That Go, supervised by the State Athletic Commission, the Honorable J.J. Binns, Chairman. Francis Walker is the Executive Secretary. And the officials assigned Chief Deputy Commissioner in charge, Tom Malandro, the doctor in attendance at ringside, Dr. George Soharian, the timekeeper at the bell, Charlie Daniels on the referees of this hour of wrestling, Dick Worley, Gilberto Roman, Dick Crow, Danny Davis, and my name is Jeremy Hill. Now the opening contest it is scheduled for one fall with a 10 minute time limit but first I'd like to introduce the colorful manager here he is the fashion plate of wrestling Fred Balassi and in the corner to my right from Elk River Minnesota weighing 237 pounds it is Kurt Pennick. And in the corner to my left, from Los Angeles, California, weighing 235 pounds, here is Ray the Crippler Stevens. Ray Stevens from the San Francisco, California area, preparing for his matchup against young Kurt Hennig. This telecast is being brought to you by the authority of Capital Wrestling Corporation in the use of the pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the telecast, including the imposition of a charge without the express written consent of Capital Wrestling Corporation is prohibited. Crippler Stevens locking up with young Kurt Hennig. I tell you, Vince, Kurt Henning is getting to be respected by all wrestlers because a young man is challenging all these top guys. All right, if we take a look now. Drop kick and Ray Stevens trying to hang on to the rope. No such luck. Freddie Flossie trying to get the crippler Ray Stevens together. And Kurt Henning is a house of fire this week. But I'll tell you, Steven is not getting back in the ring too quick. Looks to me like he's hurt. Well, he hit that concrete floor with a smack. Kurt is really aggressive. He's got Stephen Hurt. He wants to stay on top of him. That's where he's got to make his move. Kurt Hennig hammering away on Ray Stevens in the corner. Foot right up down the throat, and he is really pushing it. He's got to keep, stay on top of Ray. He's got to keep going. Penix scoops up Ray Stevens, has him up in the air. Drops him, slams him to the canvas. Drops the elbow. A cover, one, two, and woo! Was that a close one? I think Stevens is hurt. There's no doubt about it. Stevens with a right hand. Right in the lower abdomen area. Boy, Ray really put that punch in there. Yes, he did. He put everything behind it. A little low also, I must add. That looked like it as Freddie Blassie crosses his heart. Right hand, oh, right on the butt of the jaw. Could have knocked him out. No. Steven's shaking it off. He is giving credit a tough customer. You know, Kurt Henning is the one that goes to the promoter, and he says, I want to challenge a certain wrestler. I may not be ready for these guys, but I'm going to take a chance. And that's how you make a reputation, Vince. Ray Stevens up in the air. What time the game 
ushering Ray Stevens outside, trying to clear the cobwebs. I tell you, that Kurt Henning is going to go a long way in this wrestling. Referee should be counting. Finally, back up to three now, on the way to four. And it comes over the Greek, Ray Stevens. Has it been a... No. Looks like he was going to power from it. Glassy, the manager, does not like what he sees. Well, Glassy, really nervous, really upset. Right in again, Lance. What an upset that would be, Vince. It's quick enough. have dropped it. This man's going to win. Kurt Hennig is going to take it. Over for the cover. One, two, and... This, boy, that was awfully close. A drop kick over the top rope really stunned Ray, and he hasn't been the same since. Looks like he must have raked the eyes of Hennig. Hennig with his vision impaired. That was about the only way to get out of that. Pulls him over with a shoulder block. Hennig coming at him again. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, he, oh, the poor young man. He's wrapped up in those ropes. Choke. Oh, he's, he's choking. They got to get him out of there. Look at him. And that's Vince. Those ropes Finally are so out. tight and it really hurt. And covers him after that. Ray Stevens for the victory, but one he will long remember. Kurt Henning on the floor, really. Here's the time, four minutes and 43 seconds, and the winner, Ray the Crippler Stevens. Kurt Hennig is in a bad way. But this man could care less. Ray Stevens could absolutely care less in a matchup he will long remember. We'll take you back up now to what we saw earlier. Here. Goes down and from there, trying to get through the ropes, got oh. all tangled up in there, almost snapped his neck. Dangling now, choking. And Ray Stevens hammering away, adding insult to injury. From there, the referee trying to get him out of there because that is so dangerous, it can absolutely break your neck. That's how tight those ropes are. So Stevens, all he does is just lay across him and pins him. So the crippler, Ray Stevens, is victorious. 